Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be this watch me work where I am going to be doing my nails for Thanksgiving. This video is going up on Thanksgiving, Thursday, November 28th. That's the US Thanksgiving. I know Canada already had their Thanksgiving and of course there are many places that don't have a national Thanksgiving holiday. But um, I celebrate Thanksgiving along with my friends and family and this year we are actually hosting for the first time. We're hosting Thanksgiving and it is super exciting. So in addition to wanting to um, do my all with my Thanksgiving hosting, I also want to do my all do yeah do my all with my nails so I showed a bunch of the gel polishes that I'm going to be using in this nail set here coincidentally they were all from Opre that was not <laughs> planned I keep all of my um, nail swatches like the swatches of my gel polishes that I do um, in like color families on like swatch rings and I just whenever I'm looking for color inspiration or combining colors together I just kind of flip through them all and I pulled all these out because they were the tones that I was going for and they all happen to be from Opry so um, that's where we are today. I actually did um, a Thanksgiving nail set um, a couple of days ago. I think it went up on Sunday and that was like on nail tips So it was just a different um, design and I didn't want to use the same colors um, I kind of wanted to like make it a little bit different um, even though I love how that nail set came out So I just wanted to do something a little bit different So I pulled out some different kinds of colors and it ended up being all of this stuff So I'm just applying all of the gel here as you can see I am kind of doing um, Like sort of like a pattern. I'm doing a neutral nail in between each of the colored nails and then I I am going to cure all of these here as you can see and now moving on to my other hand So we're going to be doing both hands in this video Sometimes I only do one if the design is the same on both hands um, But this time I have you know similar products. I'm using the same things, but it's not exactly the same kind of set um, There's going to be different elements on each of the fingers. I wanted it to be very dramatic and very um fun and festive for this Thanksgiving season. I definitely wanted to try to incorporate as much Thanksgiving color and theme as I could in this nail set. So as I am going through this, I do want to mention how thankful I am for all of you guys who are watching this video right now and for all of you who have subscribed to my channel. At the time that I'm filming this, I have just about 630 subscribers, which is bonkers to me. I didn't really have any kind of plan going into YouTube here. Um, I kind of just wanted to experiment with my creativity. I found that I wanted to do nails more often than I was able to do them on myself. So I started doing nails on tips so that if I didn't have time to completely do a whole set of myself, I could do tips and I figured I would just start posting it to YouTube. I didn't really have any kind of plan. I mean, this is obviously not like a full-time job. I do have a full-time job outside of this. This is really completely a hobby. And it was just amazing to watch my subscriber can't go up, to watch the comments and interactions that you guys have shared on this channel, commenting, posting, giving me um, you know, feedback, both positive and, well, I mean, I guess there's no real negative feedback as long as it's constructive feedback, you know, definitely constructive criticism, um, compliments, everything like that. It's just been so amazing. I can't believe that, like, I've actually been, you know, somewhat of a success here, mostly because I've, I've always said in previous videos, I've, I've said constantly that I don't feel like I'm the most creative person. And there are definitely people here on YouTube and on other social media platforms who are much more creative and create such more beautiful, more more beautiful nails than I do. I can definitely admit to that and I definitely gain inspiration from those people and it's really inspiring to see that. But I've found that creativity is definitely a muscle. The more I've been creating nails here on YouTube and doing it for the, the creative process and not just for myself and sharing it, the more I've just been able to bring designs together that I don't think I would have been able to before. It used to take me a really long time to come up with a nail design or I would just keep it really simple. And the more I've been creating, the more I've been able to create, I guess. And uh, I just kind of want to throw that out there for any of you guys. I know I've gotten a few comments of people asking, how did I start my channel? Blah, blah, blah. Just do it, just start if you're interested. There's really no way to completely fail if you're just starting off with like the mindset that like this is going to be fun. Obviously, if you want to start it as uh, an eventual um, full-time career and stuff, that can definitely be a much harder thing to move towards. And it's definitely possible. I mean, there's room for everyone here on YouTube. Um, whatever you are here to provide, the world wants to see it. There, you will always find your people, just as I have found you guys and my subscribers here who have really been, you know, my kind of people, I guess. You're, you're, 
your interest in my in my art because it is it's it's art on a tiny little canvas has been so inspiring to me so um if any of you have been thinking about it have been wanting to do it but were unsure i'm gonna say just go for it you really can't lose you can only um learn from it whether it's something that sticks with you forever or if it's something that you just do um for a time as a hobby whatever it is i think you can definitely just go for it there's people out there who want to see what you're doing so i just wanted to say thank you to all of you here because without you I wouldn't I li probably wouldn't continue to do it if it wasn't you know for all of your encouragement so I'm going to stop with all of that now and kind of get onto the nails a little bit sorry I was a bit out of frame I think this is the thing that I struggle with the most just talking about you know doing YouTube and things is when I'm working on myself sometimes staying in the frame of the camera has been a bit of an issue for me because sometimes I just need to get my head right in there or like I just need to bring the nail closer to me because it's quite far away from me when I'm working so that it could be in the frame of the camera and sometimes I need to see what I'm doing but and if you have been here and you have seen my videos and stuff I think you'll be excited to hear that I invested in a new professional camera it's something that I've been wanting to do for a while as I saw that the um the interest for my nails and for my designs and everything has been growing here on YouTube and as you know my subscriber count has been going up which I'll say it again one more time thank you so much I, I I never I didn't plan for this I didn't think I would be this kind of you know successful so soon I only started my YouTube channel you know earlier this year and it's been pretty amazing so far so anyway um I wanted to invest in a better camera for a long time. I've been filming on my phone for all of this and my phone does not have the best quality camera. You might have noticed sometimes the lighting is really weird. It just, it gets, it, it's not the best. And I've been wanting to invest in a good professional camera, but I needed to see if it was going to be worth it because, you know, I didn't know where this was going to go. And, um, you know, professional cameras are expensive. I needed to see if it was actually going to be something that would be worthwhile, but I think it has been. And I was waiting for Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals to try to get the best price. And I ordered a really nice camera and it is shipped it's on its way so hopefully uh, soon we'll have really really high quality videos and imaging and everything like that and i'm hoping that with that i'll be able to i also bought like um different setups for overhead shooting and stuff like that so i'm hoping that with all of that i'll be able to get some even better content out there for all of you guys to watch and of course if there's anything that you want to see specifically i know i put up a poll on my community tab um a few weeks ago at this point and i asked what you guys like seeing the most um what kind of videos you like and a lot of people com um commented that they like or chose the poll option that they like um, more educational instructional videos but i don't really know if i have all the information that like i don't know what you guys need that's that's more what i'm trying to say i don't know what information you would like so if there is a specific kind of video or a specific topic or specific technique that you would like me to cover on the channel because i don't know what you guys want what you're missing what you're looking for um definitely let me know because um i'm i've been even more motivated than ever now that i've kind of really settled into this groove i think for the most part i've really gotten into it and i am excited to continue moving forward so let me know what you want to see coming from the future. And also, being that it is Thanksgiving today, or rather, this video is going up on Thanksgiving, um, let me know what you are thankful for. I know that not everybody celebrates Thanksgiving. Oh, I just want to mention this little um, caddy thing there, that little pink thing, I got it from a Betsy box and it's been great holding my um, stamping polishes. Um, I would always knock them over because they're kind of like flimsy and it's been the perfect size. So I just wanted to throw that in there um, because if you have something like that or if you were looking for something like that, that is available on Betsy. I got that um, in one of their recent mystery boxes or deluxe mystery boxes and it's been absolutely great I no longer knock over my gel um my stamping polishes so just a quick little thing to throw in there but uh, like I was saying I know that not everybody um celebrates Thanksgiving not everybody celebrates U.S. Thanksgiving whatever the situation is but I know that there is never a wrong time to be thankful for what we have um we can take so many things in life for granted the roof over our head our running water um 
a safe neighborhood to live in, anything like that. Um, if there's anything that you would like to share that you were thankful for, it could be really anything. It could be big, small, something that maybe you don't really notice on a regular day-to-day basis. But if you stop and thought about it, you're like, hey, I'm really thankful that, you know, I got boots for the winter or something like that. Um, let me know in the comments. I think it's always a good idea to spread positivity and thankfulness and gratefulness. Like I said, it's so easy to just take things for granted and get stuck in like the grind and focus on things that are maybe not necessarily perfect or the way we would like it. Um, but there are so many things to be grateful for. So let me know what you are grateful for and thankful for down in the comments. Look at that cute little turkey. Isn't he sassy? I love him. <laughs> that plate that I was using from Claire Jelly Stamper had three different turkey images and I love that one. I thought he was so cute. He was such a sassy little guy. So here I uh, stamped down that um, little wording um, image. It said, oh my pie, because I love pumpkin, pumpkin pie specifically. Um, so I wanted to throw that on there and kind of incorporate that into my nail set because... I love pumpkin pie. I'm going to be having pumpkin pie this Thanksgiving. Yeah, also let me know if you are celebrating Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving, friends, family, whatever the situation is, what are your plans? What kind of food do you like? Do you do a very traditional Thanksgiving? Do you make it a little bit funky? What do you what do you do to celebrate Thanksgiving if you do? What kind of foods do you have? I'm curious because I'm also nosy. Like here I placed down. <laughs> I'm doing a little pumpkin pie slice of, of here on my nail because like I said, I love pumpkin pie. That's something I'm looking very much forward to for Thanksgiving. I love dessert. I happen to be not a huge turkey lover. I don't love turkey per se. Um, I don't know. I just, I find it kind of dry and not great, but I love all the other kinds of foods that with, I love cranberry cobbler. I love um, mashed potatoes. I love yams. I love Thanksgiving seasoning. So thyme, sage, that kind of like um, seasoning. I love that. I'll eat that year round. That's not just a Thanksgiving thing. I mean, I love throwing a bit of thyme and like, garlic and salt on some roasted potatoes. I'll do that year round, but I am very excited for Thanksgiving. I'm excited to be hosting for the first time. If you've ever hosted Thanksgiving, let me know what it was like for you. Was it crazy? Was it wild? Was it like overwhelming? I've never, I've hosted some events with my friends, but never hosted Thanksgiving. So I did do a bit of like crystal placements on a few of my fingers. I'll show you at the end. Um, I kind of did that off camera. It was starting to get a little bit late. Um, the lighting was going out and I just wanted to do this a little bit off camera. So you can pause the video if you want to see how I did the crystal placement. And that is it. That is the final set. Let me know what you think of this set down below. Let me know what your plans are for Thanksgiving, if you've got any, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you.